gosh, I was in school in Southern California, five years old. Um, my dad is a police officer and he actually was called to go to LAX that day because they didn't know what was going to happen. Um, so they were preparing all over the United States for anything drastic. So I don't remember it a whole lot, but through my dad and just talking about it. Um, but I think it's important that we keep talking about it because especially with everything going on today, you never know when something like that's going to happen again. I was in my elementary school and we had the uh, principal came in and told our teacher what happened. They took all the kids to the library and had the news up on the TV. I'm more emotional now seeing videos of it and just talking through what those people went through on that day and seeing other events pop up around the world, other terrorist attacks and knowing that that could happen here if we're not careful and we're not vigilant. Uh, so that affects me today. So we're doing the 9-11 Memorial Stadium stair climb. We've done this ever since I was a freshman. It was actually the coolest and my favorite workout um, when we came in. It's a really unique workout because usually during our PT sessions we motivate each other and we cheer each other on, but this workout is actually going to be a silent workout for the memorial. So you have, we have roughly around 70 cadets will be in here running the stairs. Um, we do it for, there were 110 flights during September 11th when it happened and just having it be a silent workout makes it way more impactful and so while you're running this you think about why you're doing it and you feel your legs are burning but you realize the firefighters wore pounds and pounds of gear and we're just in our PTGs which are physical training gear. Um, well we do it every single year and it's pretty awesome and I just like when we're running to have that reminder of why we are running and just kind of, um, it's a day where you can think about somebody else, not yourself, and really put yourself in the perspective of what it would be like if we had something like that happen. On the way here, I was just thinking about uh, kind of the day of 9-11 and thinking about how when tragedy hits, the country comes together, which is really cool. And even in small communities, like our community went through a couple of parents that died within a couple months. And you really notice like everybody pulls together, like forgets any petty or, or any arguments going on. And so just pulling together and thinking about like our country now, um, how we need to like when things like that happen pull together and then persevere through it because it's like time heals things it also dulls it um, so if we were to pull together like that all the time and stay strong in what we do um, we could be really strong together. <laughs>